it is easy to dimension any straight line by giving its length. For a circle, we identify the center and take appropriate radius and draw the circle. But there may be a curved edge which may either not be an exact circle or may be a segment of a circle with a radius at an unapproachable location. How do you derive such a curve on site? Here is an example of a slab which has curved edges on two of its sides. The edge on left may be a segment of a circle with its radius at a far location. It may also have obstructions like the column between the center and the curve. Similarly for the other curve too. To achieve a small circle, it is easy to take the center and draw the curve on side using a thread. But for an edge like this, it may not be possible to draw it using a center. So, we may derive this curve using linear dimension. The two red lines are the reference to do this. Each red line is placed at a convenient distance from the curve. Convenient means that the closest point of the curve may be as close as possible to the red line. Say up to 300 mm. A line is drawn perpendicular to the red line from the first point on the curve. Then at a fixed distance on the red line, parallel lines are drawn to meet the curved edge. Each of this line will be dimensioned accurately. If on site you transfer the red line and each of those perpendicular lines, it will give you points which may be joined to draw the exact curve. Each of these perpendicular dimensions is taken at a fixed distance for accuracy and convenience. Let us do the same for the edge on left. The red line is taken at a distance from the edge. Perpendicular lines or dimensions are marked from this red line. Each of this dimension is taken after a fixed distance. Plotting these dimensions on site will help in deriving the curved edge. It is important to ensure that the curve transferred on site is as smooth as possible. The spacing between each perpendicular line has to be taken judiciously. If this is taken to be small, the curve derived will be smooth. If this is taken as large, the curve made will be that of straight lines. A spacing of 500 mm is convenient spacing for a curve which may be spread for more than 5 meter of length of the red line. This also depends on how shallow or deep the curve is. Accordingly, this spacing may be modified with that sole objective to get accurate and smooth curve.